Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three things, and those three things are where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The next thing that we're actually going to cover is all of the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys know how to earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by showing you right where you can find Madame Nazar's location for today. And Madame Nazar will actually be almost right in the middle of the map. Well, not not really, but uh, I would say the Dakota River is probably the most middle. But this is going to be an Emerald Ranch, so Emerald uh, Station will actually be your fast travel destination of choice for today. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like does go a long way here on the channel. It shows your support. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, it helps me grow here on YouTube. So definitely leave a like as it only takes a few seconds to do that. All right. And honestly, I hope that you guys stay around for the uh, rest of the video. So please do that. All right. Let's go to move on to the next thing. And that's going to be talking about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Now, these do change every single day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can make over $4,000 per day by doing the collection set. So if you guys don't have the collector bag, you need to have the collector bag as soon as you possibly can because it is the most effective way of earning money here in Red Dead Online. Uh, but coins and the family heirlooms will actually be the uh, most or the best bang for your buck, but they will require the field shovel and or the metal detector. So let's go over those. So coins are going to be a part of cycle number six for today. And then the lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number one. Arrowheads and family heirlooms will also take and use the um, coin or the field shovel and or the metal detector. So we got arrowheads at cycle number two and the family heirlooms at cycle number two as well. Now the coins and the lost jewelry, you can make $540 per hour. It will take you about three to three and a half hours to complete if you guys do them like in a row. Not doing a full set and then going back and starting over. Just literally going from one spot to the other to the other. Doesn't take too terrible long, but $540 per hour is not that bad. All right, let's go to move on to the other four sets. Now, you don't even actually have to be a collector at all to collect these, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. And uh, kind of reference my previous point about becoming a collector as soon as you possibly can. But wildflowers are going to be a part of, of cycle number five. We have the tarot cards are going to be a part of cycle number one. We have the antique alcohol bottles, a part of cycle number three, and the bird eggs are going to be a part of cycle number six for today. Hopefully you guys don't have any other questions regarding these as they do change um, every day way prior to Madame Nazar changing. So hopefully that doesn't mess you guys up too much. All right, let's, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. And that is going to be talking about the daily challenges for today. So let's go ahead and talk about them. We're going to go over the list and we're going to break this down in detail. We got five chanterelle picked we got five drinks ordered from the saloon five herbs sold we have one lake sturgeon caught place top three in a race three player headshot kills in showdown and then three player kills with a rifle in showdown two moonshine bar dance for two minutes two moonshine bar drunken player interactions two moonshine a preferred type sold to a buyer two goods sold to a distant buyer uh, one resupply mission completed with five minutes left 10 small animal carcasses donated to crypts, 3 arrowheads found, 6 collectibles collected, 3 family heirlooms found, 2 bounties brought in from a new Austin posters, 3 bounty targets brought in, 3 bounty targets looted. So, honestly, these don't seem too bad for today, but let's go ahead and kind of break these down. Um, they Honestly, doing the daily challenges every single day is the best way of earning gold here in Red Dead Online. There's no other better opportunity unless you really want to spend over eight hours playing just showdown modes, by all means, if that's what you like to do, then go for it. But uh, if you're looking at mid just making gold, then you guys need to do the daily challenges as they are the best way of doing that. Um, if there's any double or triple money or oppor opportunities, rewards, whatever you want to call them, then make sure that you guys are participating in them because they are will be better. Why is there red over there? Interesting. I'm not even going to question it. Um, but they will be worth your while. So 
11 gold bars are the possibility each and every single day. There's two requirements in order to get up to 11 gold bars. Number one, you have to be a uh, rank 10 in each of the current roles. So make sure that you guys have all the roles purchased and be at least a rank 10. And then the next requirement is to make sure that you guys complete one daily challenge for 21 days in a row and then maintain one going forward. There's always one daily challenge that you guys can complete like in less than five minutes. So it's really not that complicated to do. It just takes... You know the actual physical 21 days so just kind of keep that in mind all right let's break these down in detail for you guys so chanterelle mushrooms were the first ones on the list and i'm actually going to head over by roads um to do this one but you can actually do a couple things over here there was order at a saloon so there's a saloon right here in Rhodes, so you guys can actually do that fortunately there's not a doctor in Rhodes, but there is a doctor in saint denis that's going to be the closest one but if we head down here, so you have to, I know that you have to order five drinks and I know that there was uh, five herbs sold to a doctor. So the doctor is going to be located right there. The only other one in the entire map is going to be in Valentine. But this is the location that you guys are going to want to come down to, which is a Panther location. So if you guys aren't familiar with this spot, just be careful when you guys come down here as uh, the Panther will jump out and get you. So enjoy that. Just be prepared for it. Well, we got Chanterelle Mushroom right here. We've got another one that's going to be, um, it's right about here. Now, these aren't going to probably be exact, but they should be pretty close. Um, there should be another one right, right here. Another one over here, pretty much straight south of the Stranger. And then these two are going to be pretty much right on top of the, the, the Panther. So if you guys were going after these and getting a little bit more, or wanting to go after that Panther, then these are going to be the one for you. Just be definitely be prepared. More than likely, it will be there, but there are times where it's obviously not. But honestly, there's are, those are six different locations, and they spawn anywhere from one to four in each spot. So Chandra mushrooms are pretty easy to pick. And if you guys really want another one, you guys can come up towards the S right here. And right about there, you guys will actually find another one. So, seven locations. Not too bad. We already covered drinks ordered at a saloon. Just go to any one of the saloons anywhere on the map. If you don't want to go to the one in Rhodes because you just want to go out and do the doctor stuff, the herbs sold in San Denis or Valentine, both spots have a saloon that you guys can order the drinks from. Uh, there are two saloons in San Denis. Make sure you guys go to the dumpier one, which is close to the fence on the eastern side of San Denis. If you guys want to spend less money on your drinks, if you guys don't really care and have a ton of money just to waste on make drinks then by all means go ahead and stop at the more expensive one if you really really want to uh lake sturgeon caught uh this one uh, the best way to catch lake sturgeon is by using the special lake lure um i don't remember the price and i can't remember how much gold is. i want to say it was like four gold bars to buy it um like 25 bucks or 30 bucks when you get or 20 something like that when you get to a certain level but right here off of flat iron lake and just right across the street from the butcher is a really good spot in black water to actually go fishing for lake sturgeon just right here is really good um you that's the best spot honestly in my complete opinion of red dead online so just go there and use the special lake lure you won't be disappointed uh, the next one, uh, the next three, if I'm right, yeah, uh, we're all PvP related. So if you guys aren't into PvP, I'm sorry. These are definitely not going to be for you guys today. But place top three in a race today. So not everybody's really big into races. It's not my go-to thing by any means here in Red Dead Online. But you have to finish top three. So if you're good at it and want to make sure that you guys finish top three just to get that extra gold, by all means do that. You will get gold in every race that you participate in anyway at 0.16 gold bars. Same thing with these, 0.16 gold bars. But headshots, um, they're not too terribly hard to get on PvP. And then just use your rifle. That's what I would do. Use it like your, um, it could be your Springfield. It could be your Bolt Action. It could be a Carcano. Whatever you're really good at, just use that one. As long as it's a rifle. And these could actually be done together, so not too bad. But I really do think that the daily general challenges for today are super easy peasy. Uh, we've got two moonshine bar dance for two minutes, two times. Uh, that's four minutes total. You do have to hold down a button in order to do that. Um, and just go to your shack and have a good time listening to music. That's all you got to do. Drink and listen to music. What else do you want in a pandemic world right now? Uh, we got two moonshine bar drunken player interactions. Obviously, you will need a friend to do this. Uh, you will both get drunk. 
at one of your shacks. It doesn't matter whose shack you guys are actually using. Just use one of the shacks. And then uh, once you guys both we'll get drunk, walk up to each other and then slap each other silly. Um, I can never remember what button it is until I start pressing it. So I think it's X on Xbox and I think it's square on the PlayStation 4 controller, but I can't remember for sure, to be honest. I just kind of do it. Um, and then you will have to sober up in order or in between each one to make this actually work. So there's a face wash station. There's a coffee station. You can leave the shack or you can join a brand new session. If you guys can't do it right away, then you guys are going to have to brand join a brand new session because for whatever reason, that session is glitched. We have two moonshine of preferred type sold to a buyer. Uh, the best way to do this is starting one of your Moonshine Batch. It doesn't matter which one, you know, weak, average, or strong strength. It doesn't matter if it's even um, a special recipe or not. Just make sure that's preferred type. So I would add the flavoring when you when the next group changes, and then that way you know exactly that you're going to be able to deliver that before it actually expires. So that's how uh, that's how i would take care of that one we got two goods sold to a distant buyer this will take a little bit of time about 10 minutes but you just have to make sure that you have two goods at your trading um camp in order to sell to do this one but um i don't know i'm not a big fan of the distant buyers just because they take way too long and then you obviously got to worry about uh um, d other dumbass players um trying to come after your goods one resupply mission complete with five minutes or left or less um uh, Basically, just do a resupply mission as fast as you possibly can. Ten small animal carcasses donated to crypts. Um, so this is going to include bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, western chipmunks, any of the squirrels, crows, and any small birds. So small birds are going to include like the blue jays, uh, the wax wings, cardinals, um, you know, those types, sparrows, whatever. Any of the really, really small ones that you guys see flying around or you hear and then you point at and you sometimes can't see them. That's the small bird that you need to shoot. Or a crow would work just fine. Uh, three arrowheads found. Again, arrowheads are going to be a part of cycle number two for today. Six collectibles collected. So if you guys go after all the whole set of the arrowheads, you can do that. Or you guys can go three and three, whatever. And then family heirlooms will also be a part of cycle number two for today. So these ones don't seem too hard. And, and family heirlooms and arrowheads do have the possibility of using either the field shovel and or the metal detector. So just... Be weary of that. Last on the least is the bounty hunter roll, which is the only roll that does pay out additionally in gold. We got two bounties brought in from new Austin posters. So you're looking at Tumbleweed, Benedict Point, Armadillo. Uh, three bounty targets looted or brought in, and then three targets, bounty targets looted. So these three definitely go together. So if you guys like bounty hunting, three daily, or bounties make anywhere from quarter gold bar to a half a gold bar extra uh, for doing them. And then you're going to get up to that one and a half gold bars just for completing the daily challenges. So that's pretty easy peasy. But if you guys did enjoy the video in any way or found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. <laughs>